What is up all my stock market investors that it should die and I'm back again with another cash app investing video. You're probably wondering why the stock market went up today, why your stocks went up today. And we're going to talk about that. But before I get there, make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video because it puts a beautiful smile on my face. All this hard work I put in just to bless and share information. Um, also, if you'd like to be part of the group chat, we're talking about stocks and we're, and we're working on building generational wealth. Make sure you shoot me a DM above and I will add you into the group chat. Uh, it's just a, it's a great way to connect with others all around the world. So make sure you shoot me a message if you are interested. Now, as far as why your stocks are increasing today, Moderna had great vaccine study news today. And, uh, you know, I think that that's going to be great for all stocks across the board. And once that vaccine, I've been saying this, once that vaccine actually hits, once we get that actual vaccine, you will not see many of the numbers that you are seeing today, that you are going to see in the next few weeks, that you are going to see in the next few months. Um, I think that the, the stock market is going to take a whole different another leap once we get that vaccine because it's going to just mean a safer world. So, you know, if you're really uh, on the fence on investing, I think that if you have a long, long-term outlook on it, uh, you shouldn't be afraid. You know, you spend money on stupid things every single day. Start investing in your future. This is about the future. And if you are smart with it, if you're strategic, if you do your own research, like I always recommend, um, that money is going to pay you off. Put that money to work and it's going to pay you off in the long run. We also got some good news from Goldman Sachs. Uh, and, you know, everybody's expecting the banks to be crushed, especially with all this stuff going on. We all seen Wells Fargo taking a $2 billion loss on loans because of this whole pandemic. And, uh, you know, I'm sure many other banks are are going to be taking losses as well. We got to be very careful, all my investors. Listen to me. Do not let big bank take little bank. And if you don't understand what I mean, we are little bank, right? Big bank is people with a lot more money. We can't be fooled into buying these stocks that are already on the rise. That's big bank. When stuff is on a crazy rise, big bank is involved. Stay away from the big banks. Unless you're flowing with them, stay away from them, right? Do not let big bank take little bank. Right. We want our stocks to continue to increasing. I want y'all to continue to build your wealth. I don't want people to lose. You know, I, I, I'm looking at the, the top traders today and I see the cruise lines. Like, what do we, I hope none of my fam, you two family, is, is buying cruise lines right now. We got to be a little bit smarter, right? There's a lot, there's still a lot of opportunity out there. Lots of opportunities. Square was down 7% this week. And I think that that's a, a great uh, company to be invested in. Stuff like Square, PayPal, Paychex. This is all stuff that's going to be very beneficial in the future, uh, especially if we're going to digital payments. You know, Square also owns Cash App, just so y'all know. PayPal also owns Venmo. Um, and the government has been using these platforms to give people stimulus checks. So we have to, we have to know where we want to put our money and where it makes sense, what's going to be used in the future when everything is all said and gone, when, when we have our vaccine, what is still going to be getting used, right? Um, I'm also a fan of Take-Two. That's entertainment, gaming. They own 2K, sports, and uh, Grand Theft Auto, the huge, two huge games that I'm sure they're going to continue expanding. Um, you know, I'm always going to root for Zynga. Zynga's been up and down. I think that their their price target is around fifteen dollars, so they have tons of potential. Uh, there's there's potential everywhere. If you really want to dabble, if you really want to dabble, um, you know I I've recommended Cheesecake before. I've recommended Gap. Let me know what y'all think though. Let me know about all my recommendations because I do want to make sure that I feel like I'm sharing information that y'all feel is helpful and you know. The stocks that I always recommend, like, I went on. You know, and I'm never recommend, I, I rarely ever recommend something that I don't invest in, unless it's like something that's super expensive. Um, but anything that I do speak about, I'm always looking into 
and I always win on. I was talking about Snap the other day. I invested in Snap and I'm up. Now I'm up on Snap. I'm up on my Snap investment. So, and I'm not saying that so that you listen to everything that I say. Because like I always tell y'all, y'all need to do your own research and, and make decisions for yourself. But I'm always just putting stocks out there that, that make sense. I try to break it down in a very simple way, right? If touchless payments is the future, then a company like Square makes sense to invest in if they're down 7%. That's just common sense, you know, especially when, when they have a whole touchless system set up. It's just... I break it down. That's what my that's what I'm here to do for you. I'm here to break things down to make things a little bit more simpler, not get so technical. Um, I've never wanted to do that, and I've always mentioned that. So let me know in the comments what y'all think. Do y'all think that touchless payments is the future? Do you think that Facebook uh, has the potential to, to reach different new heights? Do y'all think uh, Gap? Do y'all think the Cheesecake Factory... I mean, maybe y'all think the cruise lines are going to reach a different type of height in the future. Let me know in the comments what y'all think, what y'all think about the suggestions. And one final thing, if you've made it this far in the video, and I want to talk about it briefly, and I might make another video about it in more detail. Let me know if you've heard about Ray Dalio's uh, saying that we have reached the, we're going to go into the 10-year loss uh, period of the stock market. Let me know if there's anything you know about that, if there's anything you've heard about that, if, if you have any thoughts on that. That we're getting into a 10-year loss period, meaning the stock market is going to see 10 years of losses. And not saying that there's no opportunity, but the stock market as a whole is going to see 10 years of losses because of the global pandemic that has happened and the globalization peak let me know in the comments if y'all want me to go into more details on that and give y'all more insight on my opinion on that whole 10-year loss thing, man. Y'all have a great day. Keep investing. Be smart. Take your profits if you have to. And just continue investing. Have a great day, y'all.